everybody's always gonna want and need air conditioning, depending on the climate, whether it's air conditioning or heating. I mean, that job is pretty stable. With all this experience I have now, I do consider myself a experienced tech. I take pride in having an excellent reputation online. My Yelp reviews are through the roof. I actually get a lot of referrals through customers. My name is Roger Quadra. I live in Corona, California. I'm an HVAC technician at Next Gen Heating and Air Conditioning. I make anywhere from eighty to one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. Roger installs and repairs air conditioning, heating, and air purification systems in homes. From diagnosing unusual problems, to fixing older systems that need repairs, to long hours in 110 degree attics, the job can be tough. The majority of the time I work six days a week. On a typical day, Roger makes about $336 in commission. The most difficult day, the customer had no power to their unit, they're pretty frustrated they couldn't turn it on. You check the whole system and uh, you just can't find the problem and so you start questioning, you know, like, oh my gosh, start questioning your life. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing here? Oh my gosh, I'm on hour number four at this point. Had to go through all the low voltage wiring that connect to the outside unit and found some rodents there. Alive, nesting. They chewed through all the wiring and it wasn't until my seventh hour till I found it. I couldn't get it off my mind for like the following week. That was my mistake that day for not starting there in the first place because it is a fairly common problem where rodents, you know, chew away at those wires and ruin systems. That's one of the biggest things customers do not understand in this industry. It's skilled labor. Skilled labor is not cheap. You're not necessarily paying for the part. You're paying for my knowledge and my service, plain and simple. Roger's been working in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC industry, for about 12 years. Today, he's one of the top requested technicians for his company, NextGen Air and Heat, in Anaheim, California. But for Roger, getting to this point wasn't easy. I grew up in Whittier, California. I was actually born in Nicaragua, was brought over to Southeast LA County area, um, Santa Fe Springs, Whittier. One of my first jobs out of high school was at a Food for Less. I was a bag boy and making about $7.25 an hour. High school was an adventure. I didn't take it serious, to be completely honest. Even though I was trying to stay on the right track, you know, my family did sacrifice a lot to, you know, bring us out to the United States. Being the oldest, my dad would sometimes take me to his job. And um, he encouraged me to get into mechanics. You know, he was a mechanic our life. To this day, he's a mechanic. Well, I think about him a lot sometimes when I'm actually working, just those moments that, you know, we shared when he would take me to his job. I joined the workforce after high school and, um, you know, started doing, you know, little construction jobs and really dead end jobs, to be completely honest. Things turned around for Roger in 2009 when he found an HVAC distribution center looking for a driver. I went in there, talked to the front desk guy, um, which is Ishmael Valdez, and um, asked for an application. I actually came in every single day for the next five days. His persistence paid off. Roger got the job as the driver. There he met HVAC techs who helped him reach the next level of his career. I started getting a lot of guys like, Hey man, why don't you come over here and help us out on Saturday? Start learning the ropes and whatnot. Until so eventually I got the opportunity to join a crew and be the third, the helper. When he started as a helper, Roger was making about $55,000 a year. He worked hard and rose from third helper to second helper to lead installer to technician in a matter of years. He's hoping to break the $100,000 mark this year. Even while working full time as a tech, Roger continued to improve his skills. So I dedicated myself. I would go home, watch YouTube videos. I actually enrolled myself into some classes that uh, the city of Downey provides at the gas company for NATE certifications, um, having to do with air distribution, heat pump units, uh, different types of systems that we use in the industry. Along the way, Roger stayed connected to Ishmael Valdez, who eventually branched off and started NextGen, where Roger is currently employed as a technician. Since then, Roger's experience has helped him increase his income. As far as the pay structure, it is uh, fully commissioned. You know, when you become a tech, sometimes there is those, you know, options to have an hourly wage and a partial commission. So 
So by the way, I missed two months of last year. I, I feel confident I would have broke that 100K mark last year, but you know, I went on maternity leave. Another benefit actually that I think a lot of us take for granted is company vans. You know, we got the gas card, company trucks, so you know, less wear and tear on our own personal uh, vehicles. Tengan muy bonito su día, guys. All right. All right, guys. All right, bro. Well, I usually wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I sometimes try to get a little jog in. I like to keep myself fit. I feel with that, it helps me have the, the energy to last all day and to deal with these 110 degree attics that we're in sometimes. I drive out to our main shop in Anaheim. I usually arrive around 6.30 or 7. Before a lot of our guys, I go through my bins, restock my, my van with you know, any parts necessary that I used the day prior. I usually have my first call around 9 a.m. in the morning. I usually call my uh, customer up, give them an ETA. I usually have about three to four calls a day. I average, uh, you know, about 12 to 14 hours a day. I usually get home around 8.30, 9.30 at night. Summer is Roger's busiest season, so he can't take time off to spend with family until December. So my girls know, summertime, no vacations. Summertime is all about work for me. It's my money making time. That's when I make my majority of my yearly income. What that money means for me and my family is like I have more freedom, more options. Um, I have more of a sense of uh, security for my family, my family's future, my bills, of course. <laughs> you know, I get to spoil my girls. One of the things I love is uh, being able to provide. The majority of the time I work six days a week. Uh, I, had, I do have an option to work on Sunday, which I take sometimes, but you know, having the seniority that I have now and you know, having a lot of new guys, I kind of hold back on Sundays now and uh, let the new guys take care of it. One of the most rewarding uh, things about this is uh, not only the money, of course, but you know, just the, the, the satisfaction I get when I um, help these people out. Uh, we have like uh, little friendly comp competitions here at the company where you know we set goals for the week for the month for the year amongst the technicians have friendly competitions to kind of reach those goals and improve at the beginning of his hvac career roger started off making fifty five thousand dollars a year this year he's closer to breaking the hundred thousand dollar mark a goal he says contributes to his family's happiness i obviously want to provide my daughters a way different life than, than I had. So, um, you know, not, not only is it a motivation, but it's very re rewarding knowing that I am able to do that for my girls. My advice to anybody that's looking in to get into this industry would be stop thinking about it and just do it. Take that chance, uh, whatever you got going on in your life, uh, I'm pretty certain it's gonna be more beneficial to your longevity, your future, your, your financials. So do it immediately, don't be afraid, take chances.